When you tear out a man's tongue, you are not proving him a liar. You're only telling the world that you fear what he might say. This is precisely what's happening with Nottingham Forest at the minute, as they get punished every other week for exposing the deep-rooted corruption within the PGMOL. It's absolutely fucking mental that Man City are allowed to fly off Premier League referees into Dubai and treat them like royalty, all while us as fans aren't allowed to hear so much as a whisper in regards to what actually goes on during games. Take literally any other sport and you'll see that communication between officials is broadcast live on air. Meanwhile, in the Prem, we get a heavily edited version of the conversations that took place in that dog shit show match officials mic'd up and are none the wiser about why supposed professionals are unable to reach the correct decisions which any bloke down the pub could. In regards to Forrest, ever since they tweet about Stuart Atwell being a Luton Town fan in April, which, by the way, is factually correct information, they've been taken to the fucking cleaners by the FA. Firstly, anyone who watches their games can see how reluctant referees are to give any decisions in their favour. For Forrest to win a penalty, one of their players seemingly needs to get chopped down by an axe, whereas for the opposition, a strong gust of wind is enough for the officials to point to the spot. Their owner Vangelos Maranakis, a man who wears his heart on his sleeves and has put his soul into turning Forrest into Premier League mainstays, can see through this agenda and isn't afraid to call it out, but is continuously silenced by those in charge. After an array of fines, he was given a 5 match stadium ban yesterday. Instead of detailing why such a heavy punishment was handed out, the FA merely stated that he's been partaking in improper conduct. Nuno Espirito Santo on the other hand, who is arguably one of the most calm and level-headed managers in the division, was given a 3 match touchline ban for questioning a dodgy decision which went against his side. As if that wasn't bad enough, Morgan Gibbs-White, who makes Forrest take going forward, has also been banned for one game for using insulting words towards Anthony Taylor. What's essentially happening here is that Forrest have been punished for saying what literally everyone else thinks. Other clubs are well aware of the fuckery that's taking place, but have opted to remain silent knowing full well they'll meet the same fate as Forrest if they pipe up. It's a bleeding shame to see, and precisely why all of us need to stand up in Forrest's favour, regardless of who we support, as it's the only way change might actually be brought about. To be fined £750,000 for a tweet is not only unprecedented, but outright fucking ludicrous. For reference, Luis Suarez was only fined £65,000 for almost biting another man's shoulder off, which just goes to show you how concerned Howard Webb and his cronies are about being exposed. That's my take, do let me know yours down below. Peace.